I've been promising you all that I would uh, do a little rundown of my latest uh, rig, the new Isuzu D-Max and the Southern 676 boat. So here we go. The Isuzu D-Max, this is the LS version, which is the top of the line, features a 3-litre turbo diesel intercooled engine. For my money, I'm not an engine freak, but this thing is full of power, it tows the boat with ease, no worries whatsoever. You've got four-wheel drive function in this one, you can turn it into four-wheel drive on the fly, up to about 80 kilometres an hour. You've also got four-wheel low if you get into some really hairy situations, which you stop and just turn it over. There's no uh, hubs or anything to lock. When it was towing, it's about 12 litres per 100 kilometres, which is very, very economic. The re other really nice thing is we've got the cab here, the ute liner. You can put all your wet, dirty fishing gear in there. You can put your chilli bins, fish bins in there. And you don't have to worry about getting the rest of the vehicle dirty, which is something I really like, because we deal with a lot of sand, fish, smelly stuff. And in this, you can just put it in there, keeping the rest of the vehicle really good. We've got a roof rack on it if we need to carry extra gear. We've got 50-50 tyres which are designed for sand and, and some mild off-road stuff. They're not heavy duty off-road tyres so they're good on the road as well. Running rails to make it easy to get into. One of the other really nice features, and it's the first one I've had, is the vehicle with a reversing camera. And the great thing about the reversing camera, it makes it really, really easy to hook up the boat. And it's really good when you're backing down the ramp. It makes it easy to square up your trailer and get the boat on nicely. Here's the boat, the 676 Southern. Starting at the bow, we've got a Rockner anchor with a Sarka bow sprit. We've got a Maxwell winch, which I found are really good. They're very powerful winches. We run about, uh, normally about a boat and a half length of chain. This one's actually probably got about two boat lengths of chain on it, so we have no problems getting our anchor to hold. When we're traveling, we've got a road cover on to stop rope, stone chips and everything on the boat to keep it looking nice. The whole boat is mounted on an alloy brake tandem axle trailer, which is really, really good. The alloy makes it very, very light, so you've got about 30% lighter than uh, traditional galvanized trailers, so you've got less weight to pull, but you've still got the same amount of strength, and it tows very, very well. We carry a spare because I tell you what, there's nothing worse than getting a puncture in your in your tire and you can't fix it and stops your day's fishing. Working our way down the back. The hull is a fine entry alloy hull. The hard top's actually made of fiberglass and the whole boat is really, really well specced out. When I came to look at what I wanted to do extra for the boat, I couldn't actually find anything that I needed to do. Let's go and have a look inside and see of all the nice features that I really love. At the stern of the boat, you've got a good boarding ladder. Underneath there, you'll see we've got very large trim tabs. Now these are good, you've got a fine entry boat and if you get into rough conditions you need, need to be able to manage those rough conditions and that's exactly what the trim tabs do. The whole rig's powered by a 200 horsepower Yamaha four stroke engine which delivers lots of power and again it's very economical for its size. The boat's got a 200 litre fuel tank so I can pretty much go wherever I want to chase the fish. Okay, at the stern of the boat we've got a wash down pump to get rid of any uh, mess that we need to get rid of before we go home and to just clean the boat generally. We've got a Manta bait station here, plenty of rod holders, good solid bait station for cutting up your bait and filleting fish. It's a removable tray which is great because you can just wash it off. One of my favourite things is an ample live bait tank. This is a big capacity live bait tank. You can fit a good, few good kawai in here or some big mackerel, no problem at all. And it's got a high volume pump so it'll keep your baits live and well. Storage is something that you're never short on in the uh, southern. They've got plenty of storage space and also we keep chili bins underneath here, the transom area. The battery rig, dual batteries, great for safety and security. One's a starting battery, one's a house battery and also very easy access to all your pipes and fittings. If anything goes wrong you can just go in there and check it out very easily. So you can parallel your batteries so they all draw or you can have one off and just use your start battery, then your house battery is not drawing anything, vice versa, so you're never, never going to run out of power. So the interior cab has a full fill-in, which is definitely large enough for two of us to sleep overnight and carry all our gear quite comfortably. There's plenty of storage in the side walls and everything as well for your overnight items. Got a nice little LED cabin light, so you can see what you're doing when it gets dark, because it definitely gets dark when you're on the water. So plenty of room in the cabin with an electronic toilet, which is easily accessed. Lift up port, electric switch just here. 
easy access to all your wiring if you need to do any maintenance, change a fuse or anything like that. The nice thing is also for extra security, you can fully lock the cabin, slide the door across, push it down, you've got a lock there, everything's safe and secure. We're obviously very safety conscious on Fishy Business, so we carry a full lineup of safety gear, including inflatable life jackets, we've got fire extinguishers, VHF radio, and we keep flares, easily accessible first aid kits, all the necessary items to make sure you're safe on the water. When you're driving a boat like this, I like to have access to everything from the helm station. So I've got everything in front of me. I've got a full set of Yamaha controls which give me fuel management. They tell me how fast I'm going, how much fuel I've got, my economy, how the engine's performing, all those sort of things. I've got my Simrad NSS12 which is a touch screen fish finder so I can just touch the screen if I want to change the gain or anything like that. Go to the next screen, zoom in, zoom out very, very easily. It's very, very simple to use. It's got great menu options. Very, very simple to, to do something. I've got a new waypoint. There I am, new waypoint, saved. Very, very simple operation. That's what I need in the boat. I can operate the winch from here to pull up and down the anchor. No one has to go up the front. I've got access to the trim tabs. Everything I want, all my switches are here. Everything from the radio, anchor lights, navigation lights, uh, wipers, bait tank, washdown. So I can control the whole boat. We've got the Yamaha fly-by-wire controls here, the remotes, which are absolutely beautiful. Very smooth, very light, so I'm not fighting with the controls. And obviously we've got hydraulic steering, very, very good.